Hello everyone, we're back again with another unboxing slash review. Today we've got Mario, following from the Boku wa Tomodachi series. Uh, this is going to be our final piece uh, that's going to set uh, up our kind of little diorama that we've got going on. Uh, also, quite a lot of poses for Mario. Honestly, I hated Mario. Mario sucked and it was super annoying. Like, I hated her so much when I watched the series. Uh, maybe that's why I stopped watching the series, because I hated her that much. Um, also, again, this... I'm pretty sure this was from Army Army, but for some reason it doesn't have the, like, um, grading system on it. Maybe they just forgot to put it on the box. Uh, it was also, um, didn't have the, the regular seal, so hopefully someone's opened this up and edited it out. Uh, but it does look like the plastic is still there, so who knows, we'll... We'll give it a feel and see if it's sticky or not. All right, what do we have here? Nothing, nothing too fancy. Regular stuff as usual. Do, 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 do. Goodbye. All right, let's crack it open and see what we're dealing with. Okay, there is a lot of, okay, hmm, tape. Now is that official tape? Or is this stuck on by a random individual tape? Do we have two sides of it? Yes, we do. Okay, now this is this is some random person stuck on some tape because I doubt Good Smile would have put it on going diagonally. All right, is that all we got? I hope so. Let's see. Pop you open. Uh, actually, I think we've got a big piece of tape here. Uh, is that tape? I don't know. Let's see, what else do we got? Oh, there we go, everything's gone flying. Put this, oh god, everything's also now falling apart. Okay, well, this is a bento. Good to know. That goes in her hands. Like, ah, uh, like so. There is actually a, a thing for it, a little hole. And that came from there, so let's slot you back in there. Okay. Now, nah, I'm pretty sure someone just had some plastic bags around and kind of put it back in to oh, keep her safe. There goes her pants. Brilliant. Okay, let's put that back on. There we go. Let's get you out of the way. All right, anything else want to fall off while we're here? No? We're good? Thanks. Okay, so we've got a um, key on her neck as usual. Let's uh, focus and zoom in. Do, 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 do. Ta da! There we go. I figured out the focus finally. So now we can get things looking nice and crisp. Um, but yeah, she's got the key around her neck, uh, which will unlock uh, the the locket that uh, Rakugo Ichigo has been keeping. I think it was, what was that his name? The dude from, um, what was it? What was that series called? Oh no, I'm drawing a black Nisekoi. Yes. This is, uh, this is, he's, she's true. Uh, childhood friend girl uh, that'll unlock that locket. Also, is this actually on? I'm not sure. Come on. Actually, it does feel pretty loose. It just kind of falls off. Okay, fair enough. Well, I'm gonna have her sitting on the ground, so hopefully that'll uh, pose well. Uh, she also does have that little cross uh, at the rim of her dress, which is nice. Uh, the heart and stuff on her none there. Oh god. You know what? Forget it. The pants are staying off. Goodbye. Um, and I think this comes off for the head. Yeah, that that's what comes off for the hair piece. Good to know. Uh, very nice. Is she on a ball joint? Actually, let's pull into this. Let's see. Is this a, a my figure thing? No, it just it just feels really loose like that does not stand at all. I mean, I guess if you are, um, also, whoever, okay, yep. Someone definitely used this before, because the butt is on the front. Okay, let's spin you around, and let's spin you around. Now, did you keep the legs in the right position? Are oh, these the right legs? Honestly, I have no idea. Is that somehow going to make it fit better? I doubt it. Also, wouldn't that be the... Okay, yeah. Let's see. Let's put that there. 
There we go. Is, is that right? Or should the dress be the other way around? I think that's right. But the pants are still gonna stay off. Okay, well, I mean, I don't know if that was a manufacturing thing or uh, whoever owned this before me thing, but I guess watch out for it. Uh, I won't take a point off for that because I, I don't actually know what the problem was and who who caused it. Uh, but anyway, let's let's put it back in the box. Let's get the pants back on. Do do do. There you go. All right. Here we have her. Kind of like a smug face. I want to say it's sort of smug, sort of like gloaty smile as well. You can tell by the eyebrows. Very nice. Uh, and then we have her excited, kind of whiny smile face. Oh god, I hate, I hate Maria so much. Um, but she completes the set, so I have to buy her. Um, okay, so then we've got her legs for sitting down, her holding chopsticks, a napkin. Uh, this is, I guess, the lid for the box. Uh, it is actually kind of stained blue, which kind of sucks. I wonder if that'll rub out. Let's see. Nope, it is it is on there, which is uh, a shame. I think I'll, if I use this, I don't know what she uses sitting down, but you could probably just have it upside down, like so, so you can't see it. Um, and then we've got an extra arm bit, uh, a potato chip pose, uh, complete with potato chip and potato chip bag. Uh, her arms again, and even more arms. There are a lot of arms for Mario. Okay, that's about it for what's in the box. Let's get on to some poses. Okay, so here is our first pose. I've actually been messing uh, around with Mario for quite a bit now, and a lot of her pieces just don't work. So when I pulled off um, her legs here, the rod bit, so this uh, transparent bit here was just stuck into the figure, and that's why this is super loose and falls off really easily. Um, as well as her arms just don't work, and the way her hands are, that it's just, it's not really fitting into the figure too well. I know you can fix it with hot water, but I'm kind of starting to suspect this was just like, maybe Mario's Android didn't get too much love. Uh, honestly, she's, she's not too great. She's not as, as good as I would hope compared to the other three that I've done. Like, even the older ones were better than she is. Um, but like even even this thing took a while to fit into so let me show you over here uh, Ignore the pantsu. So there's like a, a cross Mark that goes into the cross hole to get the like napkin in um, As well as like this potato chip is super thin like if you push too much force Which I was avoiding to do which is why this hand is kind of sticking out just a little bit here um, You will snap it like super easily um so yeah that's that's mario's first pose i'm gonna avoid doing some of the standing poses just because the parts don't fit and everything kept falling apart um so let's move on to the last pose all right here is the final pose for mario she's again sitting down this time she's got um chopsticks and her bento in her hand and it's the same facial expression uh, and this kind of goes with the whole set of everyone else. Um, this one looks okay. The only problem is everything really does fall apart. Like, uh, the bento box does not fit in her hands. And, uh, this arm just keeps sliding down. I've kind of sort of got it propped up on the bento box. Uh, but I might try and lift it up a little later once I'm displaying it and nothing is going to touch it. Um, I mean, honestly, if the wind blows, this thing might fall over. Um, honestly, Mari is kind of disappointing, like, even as a character she sucked and I didn't expect an android to be so bad as well. Um, just cause, cause of all of the parts and stuff, I'm gonna have to give her a low score. Um, if it was one or two, I think I could deal with it, but it is almost everything on, on Maria, sadly. Um, her expressions and poses are fine. Um, they're very, actually, well, they capture a character well enough. Um, and I like the little details on her dress, like that cross mark and stuff like that. Um, but honestly, it, what's killing it for me is the fact that almost everything does fall off really easily. So I'm going to have to give her a low score. So yeah, for, for the review part of this video, um, I'm going to have to give Maria, let's say, I'll, I'll give her a four. I won't go as bad as a three. 
because um, she does have some nice poses, but um, it's uh, at the bare minimum, everything's got to work right for me to give it a five, and she just doesn't meet that criteria. Um, honestly, I, I can't even recommend this Android unless you're going for the set of everyone. So unless you are going for the set of everyone, probably skip out on Mario. She's not really worth it. Put your money towards some other better Androids. Um, I mean, she is cheap. She was like 16 bucks, which is uh, fair enough. Like, I mean, if you want something to fill out your connect collection, get Mario. Um, but yeah, that's uh, she's a little disappointing. But anyway, uh, now for the final part, let's uh, let's get everyone all together here. All right, let's. Uh... Angle it like so. Got Kovato. And we've got Couch. This will make a good thumbnail, I think. I might might uh, draw people in with this instead of Mario because uh, Mario kind of sucks. No offense, Mario. Uh, get good, scrub. Okay. Oh, I might have Yozora kind of looking up rather than down at her PSP too much. Oh wait, she's kind of got to look at her PSP for it to work. Aren't you supposed to be, hold on, like further back? I think her legs are supposed to go on the couch, but because of her hair, it does push her off pretty far. I guess we can have her being the one that looks it at the scene. Alright, let's get you over there, get you over there, piece of trash, um, and then let's get TV up. Well this is going to be the wrong way around, but you can imagine it being the right way. Do -do -do. Is that middle? Is that central? Oh, gotta move the TV along as well. Would have been nice if the TV had like a peg and hole, that would have been good. And now let's uh, throw in a PS3 as well. It's time to upgrade center. PS5 is on the way. What are you doing? Alright. Honestly, it's a, it's a nice little scene that plays out. Let's see. Uh, how am I going to do this? Because uh, my phone is on a tripod. You know what? Let's unscrew it. We're going free cam. Oh god, I unscrewed it too much. Alright, there we go. Nice little scene. Uh, actually, I might push your head up a bit. Please don't push off the table. Table? The chair. Alright, there we go. Very nice. I'm not going to push her head anymore because I feel like she's going to pop off. Um, but yeah, as you can see down here, we've got uh, that little base bit that came with center to connect the chairs. And that other little small part was um, like uh, an in-between bit to go in between the couches to keep them together. But uh, overall, it looks it looks pretty nice all together. Like I, I can justify getting Mario because they look good together. Um, I have like a nice little square kind of set up um, just over there where the Kano Super Gang is. Uh, oh god, there's no way I'm going to get that to focus from so far away. Um, but I will probably put these guys there because I'm going to have a different section for Kano Super soon. Uh, once I get those shelves up on the wall. Apparently, so according to the, the install to you or whatever it's called from Ikea, they're going to charge me like 500 bucks to put the stuff on the walls but it costs a hundred bucks to buy it and I'm like hmm that doesn't sound right let me get a third opinion so I'm gonna look for someone who's cheaper um, but yeah that's gonna do it for the video because my battery is about to die um, leave a like if you enjoyed the video subscribe for more Android content tomorrow we'll have a uh, Casta Tamamo from Fake Grand Order um, and yeah that's gonna do it for that week's this week's videos um, yeah, enjoy. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like, subscribe for more Android content, and I will see you guys in the next one. All right, bye.